Hello, this is Matt at Hornady, and today we're gonna go over our overall length gauge. We have two different models to offer. We have our straight model, which is item number C1000, and then we also have a curved model, which is item number C1550. So, to get started, you're gonna need our overall length gauge and a modified case. Several different types of modified cases. We offer SAMI spec cases in, that are modified already, but if you have a chamber or a cartridge that's not on our list, we offer a service where we will modify these cases for you. So now that we have our modified case screwed onto the gauge, you're gonna to wanna to take the bullet that you're actually gonna be reloading with and drop that into the mouth of the modified case. Next, what you're gonna to wanna to do is remove the bolt from your gun and then place that modified case and bullet into your chamber. Once you have it seated firmly in your chamber, then you're gonna take this rod and push it out, which is pushing on the back side of the bullet and pushing it into the lands of your rifling. Now you're gonna push on it fairly firm to get it seated in there very well. Then once you have it seated in there, you're gonna tighten this thumb screw down and that locks in that rod so it maintains your measurement. Then from there, you're gonna remove it. And once you remove it, you'll see that the bullet's still in there. So what I like to do is take a cleaning rod and then push that bullet back out of your rifling. Now that it's out of the rifling, you just gotta tip your gun and get the bullet back and then put it back into your modified case. From here, you're gonna take your caliper and get your measurement. And that is your base of your case to the tip of your bullet measurement. Now you're gonna to wanna to do this several times just to make sure that you've got the proper measurement so that the first one wasn't a fluke. So now we're gonna demonstrate how to use the curved overall length gauge. And where you'd wanna use this gauge is either for a lever gun or for something like an AR platform, something that you can't get the gauge through the back of the action. So you're gonna take your modified case, which screws onto the gauge the same as the straight model, the bullet that you're gonna reload with, and then you're gonna insert it into your chamber and use this, this rod here to push that bullet out and engage the rifling. So there, you can see the, the benefits of having that curb model where you can't get in from behind the backside of the action. So now I'm gonna take this rod and I'm gonna push that bullet out till it touches my, I'm gonna make sure I'm pushing it out fairly firmly into the rifling, tighten my thumb screw down and then remove that gauge. Again, like you, on the straight model, the bullet is still stuck into my rifling. So now I'm gonna take this cleaning rod and, and push it out. So now that I've got my bullet back, I'm gonna put it back in that modified case. It's locked down, so that's, my, that's what I'm gonna measure off of. Take your calipers, get your measurement. Again, you're gonna wanna verify this several times just to make sure that the first one wasn't a fluke. So there you have it. We've demonstrated both the curved model and the straight model. Um, if you have any questions, comment below. If you like this video, please subscribe.